having me back. I'm really excited. And um, I know that a lot of you have done this before and you, you're not new to the series, but for those of you who are, I go over similar kinds of structural um, routines every time we meet. So it's okay if you're new and you're not sure what to expect, totally normal. Um, and so, yeah, so the, the biggest thing just to keep in mind for tonight is that for our session, it's important to have some art supplies on you. So it can be anything. It can be, uh, you know, watercolor paints. It can be pencils. It can be oil pastels. Whatever it is that you have on hand is fine and, and we can work with it. Um, we'll work together on that. And then the other thing is that throughout our time together, we're going to be taking some time to go inward and kind of reflect in our own process and work independently. And so um, if you want to, you, you can turn on some music for yourself if there's something that you think might help you. Uh, in a last, last session, we, we had some music available. So that is something that can help. Um, with mindfulness is, is having some music could be calm, relaxing music, something like that. So um, please feel free, you know, I'll, I will let you know when we, when we have time to be a little more independent. And so feel free to put on some music for yourself, ensure that your microphone is muted, of course. Um, the other thing that I like to tell people is that I, I really love when people make comments in the chat about what we're doing, reflecting on how it's impacting your pain level, if you liked the activity, if you didn't, if there were things that you found uh, helpful about it. Um, it helps me out quite a bit because uh, I'm sort of speaking into the void, you know, so I like to have the feedback. And also I think it helps other people as well um, to be able to, to, you know, bounce ideas off of things like that. And then at the end, if I forget, um, please someone remind me, I love when we can share our art together at the end and, and have it all um, out. So Helen usually will take a picture or something to, to, to show, uh, you know, all the art that we have together. And so, um, you know, for today, I'm gonna talk with you guys a little bit, do a little bit of a, a PowerPoint presentation. We'll have some different mindfulness exercises throughout. And um, yeah, and, and today we're gonna be focusing on art therapy as a form of self-compassion. And self-compassion is a really big piece about mindfulness, that self-love, self-compassion. And it is the holiday season. And, you know, during this time we, typically give gifts to other people. It's a time for giving, right? And I think it's also a time to think about what gifts can we give to ourselves? So that's sort of a theme that we're gonna be coming back to um, and you know, and with self-compassion. And so how can we give ourselves the gift of self-care, self-love, um, kindness towards ourselves? That's really what we're gonna be focusing on. So I'm going to share my screen, get us set up here. Just give me a moment. Okay, so hopefully everyone can see that. I love this lavender picture, it makes me really happy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, you know, we're just gonna take a minute just to start off and get grounded. And, you know, if, if you've had a busy day, just now's the time to just check in with yourself and you can close your eyes for a few moments if you want. This is just our first little dabble into mindfulness for this evening. and. Really just take a moment, take a breath, start to notice your natural rise and fall of your chest and your, your heart beating. And, and just reflect on how your day has been. You know, starting with your morning, maybe starting with your morning routine, getting through your day. Maybe it's been a challenge and maybe some other ways it's been wonderful. And take a moment just to go through each piece of your day and reflect on what has brought you here. And really give yourself a bit of thanks and gratitude for showing up tonight and you're, you're showing up for yourself and for your well-being. Just take a breath in this space. And 
I'm going to read a, a short poem to us um, by an author who goes by self love. And I really want this to, to kind of frame our experience tonight. I looked in the mirror. I saw not just a face, but a reflection of my past accomplishments laced with mistakes. I saw one space collecting all of my fears. I saw tears held back. I love yous held back too. How many years have I not known myself? As long as it has taken to get back to you, I would retrace every step just so that I could be here to say, I love you. Because now I know the truth. Love runs deep in the veins of the pulsing universe. Love is my name, and I'll soon not forget who I see when I catch my reflection gazing back. Okay. All right, thank you, everyone. We're going to talk just a little bit about what some of the benefits to this mindfulness practice will be for you or could be. And, and everyone may experience something a little bit different. And that's what's kind of beautiful about art therapy. There's a lot of ways to approach it. So of course, you know, there's been findings that art therapy can decrease physical pain associated with migraine. And it doesn't replace the need for medication, but it can shift your mental focus away from the pain. It's shifting it onto something, projecting it onto the art. It helps with reclaiming ownership and the sense of control that you might have over your life, creating an identity maybe as an artist or you know, as someone that has something to offer or contribute. And, and it, it can express what the pain looks and feels like when words are not enough. And there's a lot of artists out there who um, struggle with migraine and they, they often try to depict what their migraine looks like and feels like. And they found this to be very, very therapeutic and cathartic for them. Okay. And so, you know, these are some things to consider that everyone has the ability to be creative in some way. And tonight we're focusing on visual art and, you know, it's brave of you to try the visual art, especially if, if it's something that's a bit foreign to you. Um, but, you know, even if you find that it's not your thing, there's so many other ways that you can be creative, you know, and um, just even being able to cook, cook an interesting meal, put together flavors or um, arrange flowers or creatively solve problems. There's so many ways that we exercise creativity in our lives. And so it's something, something to think about and to remind ourselves that we empower ourselves that we are creative people. There's no right or wrong way to make art. This is uh, the art therapist mantra here, that there really is no right or wrong and art is subjective, right? So some artists splatter paint all over the canvas and for them that is an expression of what they're feeling and, and that's you know very interesting and healing for them. And so tonight I really encourage you to use this as an opportunity to let go of inner criticism and embrace spontaneity. So try to be as playful as you can. You might notice as you're creating tonight that there, there could be some thoughts that come up, some negative internal self-dialogue happening. And, and often we carry that through you know, our days with us. And so notice the inner dialogue and in, with mindfulness practice, it's really about uh, having non-judgmental awareness of these types of inner dialogues. So just try to notice it and say, huh, I'm noticing some inner criticism right now. I'm going to take a breath and I'm going to continue to focus on my process as I, as I notice that what, and just be curious about it. Okay. And feel free to explore all the materials that you have. And you might find that certain materials work better than other materials when you have a, um, a migraine, right? So if your migraine is aggravated by certain materials, really try to notice that. And it's, this is a good opportunity to explore different um, materials. No expectations. So there's no expectations tonight. Again, there's no judgment here. This is a safe zone for us to create without judgment. And 
the, just invitations. So I'm going to invite you into a, a few different creative exercises. And if anything feels uncomfortable to you, that is completely okay. Feel free to turn it into what you need for yourself, okay? And trust the process. Another art therapist tagline that I love. Okay, so um, today we're, we're gonna do a warm up just to get us into the spirit of things. And I'm gonna, oh, actually, yeah, I'll stop. Mm, maybe I will do my sharing again. Sorry about that, guys. I wanted to keep that up. So, okay, so um, this is an example of, you know, what we're going to do. Of course, yours may look nothing like this at all, which is great. You know, want them to all be authentic and, and you know, whatever it is you need to express. So um, what we're going to do first is, you know, just shake out your hands. We're going to get into some kind of a warm up. Okay. And so um, if you have drawing materials available or painting materials, I want you to select a color. It can be any color. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna select blue and I have my paper here. And I just want you to create kind of a, like a, a scribble on the page that just start with a line and, and just let your hand do the talking and the guiding and allow the line to, to go all over the page, however you need. Just one solid line, just meandering about your page. This could take just a few moments to do this part. And then see if you can somehow connect your line back to where you started. So you kind of get a solid shape. So it could look something like this. It might look a little, yours might look a little different. And it's okay, again, if you can't quite connect it to the start or um, for people that just had to get up and grab something, I'll just stick mine up here for you. Something like that. Okay. And now what I want you to do um, is, is focus on coloring in these shapes, however you want. And, and we may not be able to finish today, but you, we can at least get started. And again, you may have heard or read about coloring books being something that is therapeutic for people or coloring, coloring in mandalas, things like that. And um, while that is very, very therapeutic, this is kind of a way to extend it further. So it's almost like you're creating your own um, expressive and creative shape. And, and what I want you to do is, is while you're filling each of these little um, shapes inside of your drawing with color, is I, I want you to really focus on what it feels like to press the art materials down onto the page and try to allow your mind to focus solely on the process of what you're doing. Really try to engage in this process. Again, choosing colors based on what feels right for you. There's no right or wrong. Notice how it feels to have your only responsibility right now be to follow, follow the shapes in your drawing that you've made. And again, you might choose to fill your shapes with different patterns, text, textures, solid colors, whatever whatever materials you have might dictate what you do. We're gonna take just a few moments here. And try to notice how how your breathing feels as you're doing your, your drawing. And try to notice how your body feels. If there's any difference.
And this is an exercise that is really simple to do and one that you can repeat for yourself at home, especially, you know, if you do enjoy the coloring, um, but you don't, you don't have any of the coloring pages around. I, I kind of like to create my own shapes to color. I feel like it kind of brings it a step further. Okay, just take a few more moments. And again, this is just our warm up just to kind of ground us and get us get us in the, the spirit of things for today. Okay. Okay. How's everybody doing? Does anyone want to hold up what they're working on? Just to kind of show us, share a little bit. <laughs> Check it out. Awesome. Yeah, it's nice to see what you're working on. And I'm wondering if people, people have had experience with this kind of activity or with the idea of using mindfulness, as, you know, in, in sort of just putting colors down on the page. It's really, really beautiful to see. And thank you all for sharing. I love that. Okay. Let's see, is there anything coming up in the chat? All right, all right, thanks, Helen. I love the sharing too. <laughs> okay. Well, let's move on to the next part of what we're gonna do. And this part is really gonna be focused on a little bit of a longer meditation. I know we only have till about 5.15. Um, might go just a little bit later than that, um, give, giving people time to create. So again, let's, let's get back kind of into a bit of a meditative sort of space. Um, like I said, this will be a little bit of a longer meditation. Okay, thanks, um, Helen, I saw that. Feel free to go over, okay. Um, and this is really gonna be focused on you know, what gifts can we give to ourselves, okay? So at this point, what I want you to do is, you know, close your eyes if you can. We're gonna just try to get back into our bodies again. Should be a little familiar since we were, we were just sort of getting into a meditation earlier. And so, Close your eyes or find a place to focus your attention for the next few moments if you can. Keep your eyes open if that helps you feel most comfortable. Again, paying attention to your breathing. Noticing that you can always come back to your breath as you need to. Feeling your, your breath come in and out of your body, your lungs expanding deep from your belly. And as you breathe in, breathe in relaxation. And as you breathe out, breathe out tension. Just slowly Breathing in and out as your body would like. Maybe there's some areas of tension or stress. 
see if you can check in with those places in your body if you're feeling any sort of pain maybe you do have migraine at this moment just breathe into those areas send some some love and some breath to those parts of your body that need a little bit of your attention And now I'd like for you to take some time to ask yourself, what is the highest, most positive vision for me as my authentic self? And what, do I, what do I truly want my life to look like? What is my vision? for myself. What is that highest vision of what you would like your life to be and feel like? See if you can imagine that, maybe creating a mental image of what that could look or feel like. Perhaps a color comes to mind. And maybe there are some things that need to be released or left behind in, in order for this vision to become a reality for you. Try to notice what, what it could be that's holding you back. Perhaps it's a fear. Maybe it's the voice of a particular person or a message that you've received throughout your life about yourself. Or perhaps you know, some other feelings or, or even just feeling stuck right now at this time. It's okay to take a little bit of time here to acknowledge these things. What is holding you back? And, and take a breath here in, in acknowledging this important piece. You can always come back to your breath. a big piece to acknowledge what, what holds us back. And in this space, you can connect or identify what, what strengths do I bring to my vision? What, what are my capabilities to help myself reach my potential? What, what does the wise part of me have to say right now? Is, is there something, a message of, of wisdom or strength that you're, you're able to cultivate in this space? And try to imagine if, if there's something that you could give to yourself, a gift, to support yourself in some way as, as you work towards your vision? What is something that would make things a bit easier or help you on your journey to lighten the load? And, and see if you can take a moment to visualize what that is. See if you can make it something tangible for yourself, noticing what it looks like, any colors or sounds, anything that comes to mind. Really imagine yourself experiencing this gift. 
and try to see if you can absorb how it feels to be present and to have your needs be focused on. Please take, take a few moments here now to really sit with that gift that you're giving to yourself, whether it's rest, self-compassion, a little bit of care, a little bit of extra time for yourself. Take a few moments here and take a breath. and soak up those feelings. And whenever you feel ready, you can start to come back to the room You can notice what art supplies you might have around you. Just take a moment to get acclimated back into the present and open your eyes. Okay, and so what we're gonna spend the rest of our time working on is creating a visual representation of that gift that you would like to give to yourself or anything else that came up for you as you went internally and, and you reflected on, on the, the, this idea of what you need, what are your needs? And so that, again, this can be a symbol, this can be an abstract piece, anything that comes to mind, even if it's just a color, or if you want to expand on the activity we were working on for our warm up, whatever it is that you need during, during this time. So we will take about 10 minutes or so to engage in your art process. It's a good time to put some music on if you'd like. And we'll take the next several moments to create.
Give yourself another few moments here. Maybe another two minutes or so, if that's okay with everybody. Some of you might be needing more time. Some of you might be done. Please, if it's something that you are really enjoying working on, please continue, continue your work um, for yourself after, after we're done meeting. Okay, so I'm going to ask if everyone can just sort of come back, come back to our meeting together. All right. So we can take a few moments. I'm, I'm happy to answer any, any questions that anyone has, or if you would like to um, share anything that you, you created or discuss any way that this might've been helpful for you this evening, um, anything that you got out of it. You can put something in the chat if you'd like. We can also share our artwork. I did remember, <laughs> I always forget. I think um, Dini, if you would like to comment, please feel free to unmute yourself. I, I, did. I, I can share if it's okay. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Oh, I would love that. Oh, wow. Um, this is me before um, before COVID-19 mm. took over. Mm. And uh, this is me now. Mm. And um, I would like to give myself the gift of being happy again. Mm. Cross out this. Um, two weeks ago, my brother died of COVID. And uh, I'd like to stop being sad. Yeah. And I'd like to stop being sad, not just because of that, but because I feel like my life has changed in the past nine months. And I'd like to give myself a, uh, the gift of being happy again. And I, I yeah. think I'll be there. And wow. this, this kind of helped me put this into words. Uh, by oh. just trying it out. So I thank you for the opportunity. Mm. Dini, thank you so much for sharing that. That that really touched me. And I love seeing your your creative process and how, how you wish to give yourself happiness again. And sometimes you're right, art can help us put words to things that are hard to verbalize. And and I'm really glad that you had that experience. I'm happy to be, be part of your, your process tonight. I agree. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I do want to remind you that we've recorded this session 
And if the session spoke to you, um, we have other comments, feeling people bringing back memories, being able to draw. Um, I know I've uh, never felt like I was artistic, but whenever Jen leads us in these practices, you get a different sense of um, not only drawing, but she also puts into perspective that art can take on many forms. So I yeah. would encourage you to continue to rewatch this session if it spoke to you, to remind yourself of the feelings that Jen brings to mind during these reflections. Um, yeah. And hoping that it brings some light into your journey. That's what we're, that's why we offer this series for mm -hmm. you to uncover these things. So I can't thank Jen enough and for each of you for sharing your thoughts. So please continue to do so. Yeah. If there's anyone else that would like to share, please do. I know, and, and Dini brought up a, a really great point. We're, we're all suffering a sense of loss right now in a lot of ways, you know, loss of our, our independence and being able to live our lives and loss of individuals to COVID. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot happening here. And so when we come to these mindfulness sessions, we're, we're bringing our whole self and, and these are the things that we're experiencing, you know, so I really appreciate that vulnerability and, and, being able to to share to share about that those things. Well, I, I could I could say, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead, Jim. I was going to say it helped me think about and refocus on some of my values and what's important to me, mm. especially because of the uh, comments from Di Deanne as far as refocusing on living my wife, my late wife's legacy mm. and being the kind of person that she would want me to be. Mm. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing that, Jim. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds like you really connected with who you are and, and what your strengths are and what, um, you know, what your values are, you know, and that's really important. And I know that your, your wife would very much be proud of you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm just so happy that you, um, so many of you continue to show up and recognize that your self-care is very important to your well-being. Um, and even more so during these times, during all the challenges you're facing, you've all faced challenges as being part of the migraine community, but even now it's, it's become even more mm -hmm. apparent. And it's important to take the time and to be guided through these sessions mm -hmm. um, to get to your, to spend some time on yourself for yourself. Yeah. So thank you all. I, it's always difficult for me. I'm really enjoying this series because it does put you in a place to really focus and concentrate mm -hmm. and grow but mm -hmm. I always have a kind of a hard time coming back out of it. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> well, maybe because, we could that's, share and that's our, the our... reason of it. That's the reason of it. Good idea. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. If any, if everyone puts it up, we'll, we'll put a gallery up and see if we can. Yeah. Um, if you put yourself in gallery view in the top right-hand corner, you can uh -huh. see what everyone has done. Oh, wow. Oh my so wait, hang, keep it there a minute. If you keep it there, I just want to take a picture because we have so much color. Yeah, please share. This is beautiful. I love seeing what everyone's done. Wow. I wish we had time to, to talk about, you know, everyone's unique stories. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for sharing. And again, as I say, I would encourage you, we'll have this session posted within the next day or so on our YouTube channel. Um, I think it was a really effective one. So I think it's something yeah. that you can draw on in the next couple of weeks when we don't have a session, set the time aside to replay one, replay this one, replay a yoga or a mindfulness or a Tai Chi mm -hmm. and continue, continue with your practice. Um, we're so grateful for Jen. She'll, she'll be with us again in January and February. We'll start up again the first Thursday in January. And um, in the meantime, 
all stay well and enjoy what you can of these, this wonderful season. Um, Thank you. Thank you, Helen, for, for glad making to see this all possible. Of you. Oh, it's been a great series for mm -hmm. us. Congratulations yeah. to each of you for showing up. Sometimes the hardest thing is just showing up for yourself. So I encourage you to continue to set that time aside to do that. Mm -hmm. Well put. <laughs> Thank you. And I wish all of you a, as joyous under the circumstances of the health crisis yeah. that it can be this holiday season. Exactly. Me too. Me too. Exactly. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everybody. Good to you. Bye.